shit ready to whoop this nigga's ass. Get that and that in my belt. Uh huh. Let's get it. <laughs> Woo! Well, well, well. So Warner Brothers may be doing the fans some true justice. Did you see what I did there? And they may be releasing the R-rated Ultimate Ultimate Collectors Director's Cut Edition in IMAX 3D. Yeah, they may be releasing that, okay? Now, I'm telling you right now, Warner Brothers, if you're watching this, I have a lot of influence on the internet, and if I am going, that means that the whole planet is going. The whole planet, Houston? No, whole planet Earth. Some of you will get that, some of you won't. Now, let's read this article that I found on Cinema Blend. It says that, 151 minutes, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is one of the longest superhero movies ever. Giving moviegoers a main story and plenty of Easter eggs, the movie essentially paved the way for the expansive DC Extended Universe following 2013's Man of Steel. But there was a still fair there was still a fair amount that didn't make it into the theatrical release. And you could actually tell that by watching the movie. Some of that material is being saved for the R-rated Ultimate Edition. Only some of you are going to get the joke of Ultimate when I'm reading. Home media release, but now there's word that this three-hour cut might make its way to the big screen first. Well, the latest episode of Heroic Insider, co-host... Umberto Gonzalez brought up the rumor that Warner Bros. is considering releasing Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice's ultimate edition in theaters before it comes out on Blu-ray, digitally, etc. While it's unclear how many people would see that in theaters, millions and millions would go to see that. Lost my place. Hold on one second here. Okay. Uh, how many would see it in the theaters? It definitely would add a little extra green to the movie's haul. The Ultimate Edition was originally reported to be released on July 16th, but that date was later debunked by Warner Bros. That said, given the common intervals nowadays between when a movie is released in theaters and when it's released on home, media, we can reasonably guess that fans will be able to own Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice sometime in July or August, maybe September at least. And I figured, I'm like, came that kind of late? Ain't that basically when we would get the DVDs? As of this writing, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice has earned over $723 million worldwide, but it's struggling to reach the $1 billion mark. While it's doubtful, the ultimate edition would push the blockbuster past that mark, considering how many passionate supporters of his, of his movie has. You can bet a sizable chunk of them will give that version a watch in theaters. I'll be there. Fuck that. All the fans will be there. I knew that. Whether it's to see more action or to fill some gaps, definitely, that's the original that the original left open. However... Considering the many negative reviews the current Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice cut has received over the last two weeks, Warner Bros. might have trouble getting regular moviegoers to go see it, especially with the three-hour runtime. I don't think so, personally. I think a lot of people have, do have questions that are kind of lost with some of the stuff, and it'll fill in those gaps, and if they really release it with a certain amount of talk, talking about how... You know, they, they they market it properly. I think people will go see it. I know all the fans, all hardcore fans are going to go see it, period. So they definitely will have that taken care of. The main reason for the ultimate edition being rated R is mainly for more intense and violent sequences. However, it will also include some people who were cut from the story, including Jenna Malone's character, who is said to be Barbara Gordon. 
some of the criticisms that have been directed towards Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice have been plot hole related. So perhaps this new version will answer any lingering questions viewers have, whether they see it in theaters first or in the comfort of their own home. Whether it's released on the big screen first or directly on media, you'll have to wait until later this year to watch Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition. But the main cut is currently playing in theaters. So what do you all think? I'm gonna have to cut this short. It looks like my battery is draining. But what do you all think? I mean, I'm hyped about this. So one of you sent me a petition a few weeks back or a week or two back, and I was like, yeah, right. I, I, I don't know if I would jump on this petition just because I don't think Warner Brothers would do it. I was like, this petition would really have to get going. And at the time, it only had like 4,000 signatures. And I was like, uh, but now maybe the petition got bigger. And I'm sorry that I didn't jump on that bandwagon, but I am on it now. Um, this is something that I would, I, I want, I would have wanted, but I just didn't believe Warner Brothers would do it. So now that I know what they're to that they're toying with the idea, they're thinking about it, I'm definitely down with it. So send me that link again so I can sign the petition. And then the legions of fans that I have, make sure that you follow that link too and press the yes button to vote for Batman v Superman to be released theatrically, rated R. And I know all the bad parents just gonna take their kids to see the rated R movie anyway, so. <laughs> Anyway, post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, you can kiss my black derriere. One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.